Hi, I'm Matt Einan with Orion Packaging. Uh, we've recently introduced our uh, newly designed uh, controls package on our flex machines. Um, some of the key features of this new platform are that it has a uh, seven inch high resolution touch screen. Um, along with that, we have a lot of new features and um, functionality. Um, all of these things will help to make the machine uh, more operator friendly. Um, you'll have increased uh, troubleshooting and diagnostics capabilities. Um, and just a lot more adjustability. So um, with that, I'd like to go through some of the screens and get you familiar with our new layout. We'll start out by pointing out that the navigation pane on the left-hand side is where you're going to be able to navigate to all of your different screens. Um, our first screen is the run screen. So this is going to have all of the basic operator functions of the machine. You can see on the right side that you have a start cycle button that will um, be used to actually start the machine. Also in that area would be a pause button or a resume button if you are running the machine and would like to pause it or if you are paused and want to resume the cycle. The second button is the reset cycle button. Um, this is where you would um, clear any displayed faults that are uh, happening on the machine. Uh, you can also use that to abort the wrap cycle that is currently running. The third button is the reinforce button. Um, when the wrap cycle is active, um, you would be able to hit this and it would apply reinforcement wraps uh, to the load. The next one is the high or low speed button and you can press that to select between high or low speed operation of the machine. And the last button is the home machine button. So this will bring the carriage down to its home position at the bottom and it will also bring the main drive um, to its home position as well. In the center where the Orion icon is right now, um, this will actually display any information um, pertinent to the machine. Uh, if I was to e-stop the machine, you can see that a graphic pops up and tells you um, exactly what's going on. If our carriage door was opened, you would also see um, you would also see that appear here as well. When each fault condition is cleared, that uh, picture will go away. So right now it's telling me that I need to press the start button to reset control power. And once I do that, the machine will initialize and we'll be ready to start the machine. At the very bottom is our message banner and that will tell you any, um, any information that the operator needs to know about what is currently going on with the machine. The second area of the navigation pane is our wrap settings. Um, this would be any type of parameters that the operator um, would want to adjust um, that uh, it will pertain to the wrap cycle. Um, you can change the top wraps, the bottom wraps, the carriage up speed, and the carriage down speed. You can also change the wrap direction, whether you want to wrap the bottom first, wrap the top first, or wrap up only. Here you can choose whether you are going to run the machine in low speed or high speed. And you can also select whether um, the load that you're running is an unstable load. Um, here you can choose whether you want to use the auto height or not. And here you can either enable or disable the film fault. You'll notice in, um, in all of the screens, you'll have an eye icon in the top right. When you press that, the machine will show you um, every button or data point that is on that screen and will give you some information about that, including um, the minimum and the maximum value.
The third area of the navigation pane is the menu. And here you can go to the jogging screen, the recipe screen, or the production data screen. We'll start with jogging. On the jogging screen, you can um, do a few different functions, uh, starting with uh, homing the machine, or you can jog the main drive individually, or you can jog the carriage up or down, and you have another reset cycle button here too. To go back, you just need to press the navigation button that is currently active. And now I'll show you the recipes. Um, this screen will show you um, all of the different recipes. It will show, or it will allow you to um, change between those recipes. So whatever is highlighted in green is the uh, current recipe that you're running. If you want to view um, the information that is contained in each one of the recipes, just select the View All Recipes button. Here you can see that. Um, it will show you the actual name of the recipe. You can actually click on that and change the name uh, from recipe three to something that, uh, that more accurately represents the type of uh, load that you are running. Um, hit the check mark to accept any changes or hit the X button to cancel. You can see that using the previous or the next buttons you can cycle through all of the different um, wrap recipes. Um, the rest of the screen will show you um, all of the different parameters that are contained in that recipe. This is a, a view only area. You cannot actually change any wrap settings from here. You will have to do that um, either on the wrap setting screen or on the machine setting screen. So. As you can see, you cannot actually modify them here. So the values that are contained in the recipe are the recipe number, your top wraps, bottom wraps, carriage up speed, carriage down speed, the auto height delay, the wrap direction, the speed selection, whether or not you have the unstable loads uh, enabled, your film tension, slow down position, and how many reinforcement wraps you have active. On the production data screen, you'll have lifetime cycles or shift cycles. Um, if you want to clear out the shift cycles to accurately show how many loads you have done in your current shift, just need to hit the reset shift cycle button. The next area that we'll go through is the machine settings uh, navigation tab. Here you will have um, settings pertaining to the main drive, to reinforcement wraps, to any timers, machine setup, factory defaults, um, the multi-stretch, VFD parameters, or InstaCut. On the main drive, you can change the end of cycle position, which is your home position, your slowdown position, which is the point at which you start slowing down to find home at the end. And you can change the speed of your uh, main drive VFD um, when you're in either high speed or low speed. You can also home the machine so that you can see the effect of any of your changes to the end of cycle position. On the reinforce screen, you can change the amount of reinforcement wraps that are applied to the load every time you hit the reinforce button. If this is at zero, the machine will apply reinforcement wraps as long as the reinforce button is being held. On the timer screen, you can change any of the timers um, in the machine. The first one would be your auto height delay your tension and gauge delay, and your film fault delay. On the machine setup screen, 
If you are logged in at a high enough level, you'll be able to change the model of the machine. So here I can select between an A model, a D model, or an S model. You can select whether your main drive is a turntable or if it's a rotary arm. You can change uh, whether or not you have Instacut on the machine, whether your sprocket is 96 teeth or 112 teeth. And if you do have a rotary arm, you can select whether or not the arm will back up at the end of the cycle. From here, you can also change the default security level. So right now I have admin level um, selected as my default level. So that will ensure that I never log out um, to a level any lower than the admin level. If I wanted my machine to log out to, um, uh, to be fully logged out, you could select no login or you can select user level or maintenance level. So once again, this is the level that you will default to on startup of the machine or any time that the logout button is pressed. The start delay, um, you can see that 